Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the big project for the course. Now in this course, one of the things that all of your work so far has been leading up to is developing a professional stock analysis report. So this report is going to be based on professional stock analysis reports that you may do if you're ever working for a mutual fund or, or investment research group or investment bank. So this is a professional level assignment. Now, in the past, uh, I've had to work with students on this assignment. So I want you to deliver to me a first draft of your stock industry analysis paper so I could view what you've done and give you some notes to help improve your paper. Because this paper could turn into something that you may bring to an interview or you may talk about on an interview or show as an expression of your ability to, com co to compute and analyze and, and produce high level financial analysis. So the first part of this assignment is way back, um, we've been working towards this all semester long, so way back here we, the first part of the industry assignment was to pick your industry or sector. And then I had you complete, put together an Excel spreadsheet with the relative financial statement analysis ratio for the companies in your industry. And now it's on November 20th is when you're going to submit your first draft of your paper. Now, look to the stock industry report for instructions of how to construct your paper. So in here, I'm asking you to write one stock recommendation report from one company in your industry. And your stock analysis paper should be between 10 to 15 pages, not including your financial statements and your, your, um, your spreadsheets that you've created. Just 10 to 15 pages of analysis. And all your analysis is original you are not allowed to cut and paste any information from any source. Everything that you're going to write is going to be your own original information. You will not be citing from any other source. You're not going to be taking any information from any other source. You're going to be drafting your, all your own original content. So when you submit your first draft, I'll be able to tell through the safest sign in Blackboard if you're plagiarizing any other websites and stealing information from other, other stock analysts. So make sure your report is original. And if you do cut and paste anything from any website, a company description, uh, a you know, news article, I will submit you to academic dishonesty. So everything needs to be written in your own world. You can read these other sources and get an idea, but put everything into your own words. Okay, so, and once you're done, you can of course attach, uh, when you're done with your first draft on November 20th, you attach your document um, to this link here, view complete, and then the final report will be due on December 4th, and I'll get back to you within uh, two days of the rough draft, um, I'll review it and give you some notes on helping you to improve it. And then your final draft, of course, is due on December 4th. Now, to help you complete and give you a better idea what to do with your final draft, I attach three documents. So the first document is the spreadsheet example, which you've already seen. You've already completed this, but this is just um, it doesn't have to look like this. It can be, as we discussed before, any format you want, but basically um, you have a construct of an industry spreadsheet that you put together and you have all the company data and their industry average in. So that's the first part of the assignment that's included in the report. And then a year-over-year -year analysis for this, the one company you're analyzing. So you don't necessarily need a year-over-year -year analysis um, for every company, just the company that you're working on in the report you want to complete this year-over-year -year analysis for and have that in your report. Okay, most importantly is the uh, stock analysis template. So this template I put together to give you sort of a format of how to put your stock analysis together and this is a professional format. So you put in your industry, your company name, your, you need to, to develop a recommendation, a buy, sell, or hold, and a price target. So you give me the current stock price here and the, st the stock where you project it to be in a year. So if your recommendation is a buy, your price target needs to be higher than, than your, the current price of the stock. Uh, and of course, it's the ticker symbol. 
Here you can give me a little chart on earnings per share for the past uh, four quarters from 2007 to 2010. It's always a nice quick little thing to put at the top. Um, give me some news and headlines about the company, recent developments in the last couple of months, just a couple key bullet points here um, about what's going on with the company, new, new things that investors may want to know about right away. Then you can give me a couple little charts here on the daily average stock price, and then maybe um, some basic information on the market profi um, profile of the company. All right. Then a basic business description. So here I want you to give me a business description. Who, what is this company? What do they do? What are their subsidiaries? How do they make money? Where do they do business? So an overall description of their business in your own words, not custom, cut and pasted from Yahoo or any other site. Then I want you to give me an industry overview and a competitive positioning. So I want you to tell me about the industry that they're in, all about the industry, what they sell, where they compete, uh, the dynamics of the industry, how the industry works, and then the competitive position of your company. Is your company number one in the industry or number five in the industry? And how, how, do they, how are they similar to their competitors and how are they different from their competitors? So a whole competitive positioning and industry overview of the industry and your company, how it fits into the industry. Okay then an investment summary. So here you're going to write um, a paragraph or two in the overall impressions of the stock and its future opportunities and investment potential. So uh, for the short term and the long term, and here is where you're going to include a valuation and a stock price. So sc scrolling down a little bit, this is a section here where you're going to put together a valuation. So you have to put a target price and then the support for your target price. You must develop a valuation model. The textbook talks about different valuation models. The um, video lectures talk about different valuation models. And you can use discounted cash flow, Ford PE, see your textbook or other sources for different valuation models. Uh, and you can create your own valuation model. But you need to write a supportive arguments for the, the target price you're setting and your recommendation. And then also include risks to your target price. What are some things that could happen, such as the emergence of a new competitor or um, internal conflicts? You know, you come up with some risks to not meeting your target price goal. The economy could be in there as well. Uh, okay, so financial analysis. So the next thing, this is gonna be, uh, you have all your financial analysis done in the spreadsheet. Now you're going to um, put this together and you're going to write up your analysis of the data that you've collected and the averages you put together. So you're going to give me, uh, write a few paragraphs uh, detailing each of the financial ratios, at least a paragraph for every financial ratio. And you want to include some year over year trend analysis as well in here. So when you talk about financial statement ratios, as activity ratios, these are all different categories that each are going to be at least a paragraph that you're going to discuss your company's um, your company's position, how well they're doing in any of these categories compared to the industry, what management is doing to improve it. A lot of this can be found in the annual report. The management talks about key ratios and what management is doing to improve, improve sales, profits, things of that nature. Okay, so there's a lot of ratios here to talk about. And then the technical analysis section. Here, you're going to write a paragraph for each of these uh, items here and talk about the significance of technical analysis in determining when to purchase the stock and also in support of your recommendation and your target price. Okay, then you're going to talk about the overall risks of, to your stock. Industry risk, not risks to your target price, but risks to the stock itself, the industry risks, credit risks, exchange rate risks, market risks, political risks. Um, these are all things, event risks. These are things that you're gonna talk about uh, in regards to your stock. Okay, now, let's just go back up the top. Okay, so after, after that, you are gonna include a summary. So here we're going to summary of your analysis and your findings and your 
support for your target price and recommendations. Okay. So that would be the final section of the report would be a summary of everything that you put together. summary of everything you put together and overall findings okay now uh, and then at the bottom you're going to be attaching uh, a, a recent income statement balance sheet uh, your year-over-year -year analysis I don't know, I got it on a weird setting here your year-over-year -year analysis and your industry analysis actually you don't need to attach I don't think you need to attach your industry analysis Yes, you do, industry spreadsheet. I do want that as well. And then, so you want to tailor it. Okay, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so then you want to tailor your report to make it look professional. So a good way to get an idea of how this can be done is I put examples of other uh, student stock papers inside of the course documents. So we could look at other example stock analysis reports and get an idea of how this could look. So this is sort of, and you don't have to use the exact format of the template. You're able to play around with it, improve it, make it more professional, make it look good. So here's an example of a stock analysis report and how they have you know nice graphics in here and they're writing up um, uh, key, key pieces of information about the company and just making overlook, overall making it look very professional, talking about their, their valuation model, um, how they, their financial analysis, here's a section on the financial analysis of the company, um, adding additional things like market added value, economic value added as a valuation method, and so this is just a, an example and, and their spreadsheets detailing how they calculated their, their research, here's their financials. Um, their forecasted ratio, so and a bunch of charts that they're using in their paper as well. So this is so you could look to these examples for ideas of how other students have put together their stock analysis report. Let's see. So here's another one on oops, close this. Okay, so here's another one another report here. And this is JP Morgan and Chase. And it, I don't like this blue background, but you can see how they um, were able to kind of tailor their uh, report and, and make it look professional and include a lot of content. Now this, this, is, this is a big project and I expect to have professional results from you. And that's why I'm doing that, that first draft. So if your first draft comes in and it's a failing, for, a failing paper, I'm gonna let you know ahead of time that you would have failed the assignment and this is what you need to do to make it better. So that's why I'm giving you these examples where they talk about financial analysis and they, they put charts in and they tailor the, um, the document to make it look professional. So here's another one on Proctor uh, uh, P&G. And it's again, it's organized, it's not written like a typical paper, it's written like an investment report. So that's why I've given you these examples of investment reports. Uh, now, the, temp the template I showed you is a starting point. And everything, you wanna use it as a shell to kinda of get started, and then you have to build out that shell and try and impress me with your level of analysis, your, your um, you know, for example, this paper included key strategies for success. These are just different ideas that you can put into your paper to make it look substantial. And think of, think of it this way. You're trying to construct analysis report that for a lot of companies, they're looking to sell to investors. So it has to be valuable, present information, and um, be useful and hopefully accurate in where you're predicting the stock price to be. So your valuation methods need to be um, pretty strong and how you're going to uh, estimate where the new stock price is going to be. Okay, so these are just 
example reports. Remember, you don't have to, I don't want to see duplicates of these reports, but I want to see many elements that make these reports um, interesting and, you, and, and um, valuable inside your report. So here is another investment report, a buy rating. Here's the target price, uh, the market data. This is very similar to the template that I had shown you where they have the, you know, the headlines here and then the business description. This is probably the best example to look at as far as flushing out the template. The industry analysis, um, the company analysis, and, uh, the financial analysis after the company analysis, the valuation methods they used, the risks to the company, the scenario analysis, um, which you can, the scenario analysis can also, I kind of think of it as a summary, and then their appendixes with the proper footnoting for um, the various uh, charts and graphs that they use inside the paper. And you see how this looks clean and crisp and professional with, uh, and you may have to, you know, if you're not very familiar with Word, you may have to use another tool to uh, draft this paper in. But when you submit the paper to me, make sure that it's submitted as a PDF file or a Word document. So on the 20th, you'll submit your first draft of the paper, and then on, the, on December 4th, you'll submit your final draft after I've provided you, within two days of the final draft, I'll provide you notes and uh, ideas on how to improve your paper and give you even um, an estimate of what I would have graded your paper at if you handed in exactly as it is. So in some cases, if the first draft is really wonderful, I might say, you know, here are some ideas to improve your paper, but overall, I would grade this paper as an A, which means that you can make some minor adjustments and submit it as your final stock analysis report on the fourth. And other students may have um, more notes and have a lower grade, which I'll try to provide more support. But what I don't want is for you to give me a half-hearted effort on your, your, your first draft. I want you to give me your full effort on the first draft as if it was the final submission. That's how serious I want you to take the first draft. And I don't want you to disrespect the first draft because I'm taking my time to read it. Don't put together something that's awful. Really put the time into it as if it was your final draft. And I'm really it's being nice here, giving you a second attempt to submit it and improve your score um, by the end of the end of the course. Okay, so that's the basics of how to complete and how to uh, put together your stock analysis report. And a lot of remember, I don't want to stifle your creativity. So I have a template, and I have. You know, an example, an ex almost an exact example of how um, this uh, this this Energy Development Corporation, almost an exact example of how you could flush out that template to to the essence of what that template is, and then other examples of stock analysis papers that took that template and went a little bit further with it. So I'm encouraging you to be creative, make it your own, but just make sure you have the base content that I'm asking for. And this assignment, you know, uh, will be. A portfolio assignment for you meaning that this is something that when you go on job interviews you talk about as an example of the level of professionalism and your level of your ability and you may even want to bring a printed a copy of it to hand to the interviewee just so they get an idea of your ability and your level of work and your knowledge in financial analysis so that's why you should spend even extra effort on this assignment above and beyond just a regular class assignment this is uh, uh, not just a, a class project, but also your future at stake. Okay, so with that, I'll, I'll leave you to it to get started on this paper, and good luck. Thank you.